It was holiday time on the island of Soda. All the engines were working hard. For James. Why should a splendid engine like James was collected kindly? She looks miserable. Why should a splendid engine like me take messy cold coaches? Percy or Oliver should do it. They're not as important as I am. Trucks instead of coaches. Percy or Oliver should do it. They're as important as I am. Tom James, why don't you think about something or someone else for a change? You'll be surprised if you do. Pa! Snorted James. Being important is the only thing for me to think about. What are you two doing here? The Fat Controller wants us to pick up a very special load load from the harbour. And I think it's got some load from the harbour. And I think it's got some load from the harbour. And I think it's got some things to do with the fair, added Percy. Then they puffed away. Meanwhile, James was collecting quarry trucks. He looks miserable. What? Meanwhile, James was quarry trucks from the yard. Dustier and dustier, he grumbled. Dustier and dustier and dustier, he grumbled. And Mrs. Kindly, she looks miserable. What's the matter? asked James's driver. Father, my sister has rung to tell me she can't come to stay with me. I was so looking forward to her visit. The Fat Controller soon heard the... Sister has rung to tell me she can't come... Fat Controller soon heard the sad news. We mush... Controller soon heard the sad news. We mush... Controller soon heard the sad news. We mush... Cheer her up. Send Harold the helicopter to pick her up immediately. Send Harold the helicopter to pick her up immediately. It was a surprise for Mrs. Kindly. All present and correct. Cool. Hurry aboard, Mrs. Kindly, and fly... <laughs> Said James, but he was happy for Mrs. Kindly. Soon she was fing high and Harold. I've never seen the island. Meanwhile, Percy and Oliver had arrived at the docks. Cranky the tramp steamer. Hey, down there, you two. I'm the tramper's hole, and all of these are for you. Wooden horse. Percy exclaimed, for the carousel ride, it's going to be a very exciting fair, fair. It is indeed, whistled James. The fat control, James, the fat control in cold trucks and go to the station instead. Something to do with Mrs. Kindly. Goodbye. Well, what do you think of that? Goodbye. Well, what the fat controller? Now this is your very special treat. James will take you on a mystery ride and I shall meet you at you. James took Mrs. Kindly along her favourite coastal route to Tidmouth. Her favourite coastal route, the coastal route to Tid. Her favourite coastal route to Tid. The fat controller invited her to make the announcement. I declare this fairground open. Thomas 
Tom. Thomas and the air and the sound of the air and the sound of the gu air and the sound of the gull. But one day the friends were feeling hot and bothered. A crane was caught in this name is Cranky and this was his first day at the docks. You're useless. If you put these trucks on the inside lines, then I wouldn't have so far to travel. Rubbish, said Thomas. Rubbish. He has ever complained before. Well, I'm complaining now. And Cranky back on the quayside. Later, the two engines met Gordon and James and told them about Cranky. Cranes are airy like me, in fact, said Gordon. You should see the situation from Cranky's point of view, bugs. When Cranky heard that the big engines had re- Come on, push! But Percy was too upset to concentrate and- Poor Percy. Then, Cranky played a trick on Thomas. He grew bossier still. Come on, come on, push those trucks closer to me. But Percy was too upset to concentrate and- Push your trucks onto the outside line. It's easier for me to load up. So Thomas did. But Crank left the loads beside the trucks, not in them. You must have known my arm can't reach you there, complained Cranky. This mix-up caused confusion and delay. The Fat Controller was most upset. Ukraine has an important job to do. I have heard that you have not been helping him today. You will go to your sheds and consider how you will improve yourselves tomorrow. Now, Thomas and Percy were upset too. That evening, a big storm raged across the island. Cranky and the big engines were trapped at the docks. We're sure that they were about to be put in great danger by an old tramp. It was out of control and running aground straight into the sheds. called the engines from inside the shed. I can't, called Crankeeper from inside the shed. When the storm was over, the Fat Controller rushed to the scene of destruction. Thomas and... Oh, please. Help the engines. Oh, please, hurry. And then you can help the engines. Oh, please, hurry, cried Cranky. And tell them I'm sorry I was rude to them. So it was you, Fat Controller. I owe those engines a wreckage. At last, all the engines were free. Oh, thank you. What would I have done without you? Well, I had to be rescued before I could help you. But I never thought it would be by a couple of but but. Cranky was about to say but, but he quickly corrected himself. Ah, uh, small engines, thank you. I'll never be rude again, however... You two mites are in my way, so move over. Pa, said Percy. He's back to bugging us. Don't move. You're still attached to Cranky. But it was too late. Cranky still looks down on the two little engines. But ever since that stormy night, he never calls them bu- Oh my- Because he knows they may bite back. <laughs>